Hi again. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to explain how to create spark lines in Tokro stuff. Uh, first, we're going to create our query. This is just a regular query. This is actually uh, we have uh, on the rows uh, we have a uh, product lines, and on the columns we're going to have uh, uh, the years, and then uh, we're going to have our fact sales as the data. Okay, so now we just. Uh, drag and drop uh, the fields we require for this example okay th those are the uh, product lines and this one is the year and uh, and this one are, are the sales okay so <coughs> we test uh, our query okay so here we are okay uh, product lines years and sales it's very easy uh, uh, we're going to a report now and we are going to drag cross stuff into the report page so now we select the cross stuff and we change the query to our cross stuff query the one we just did it before and now we drag uh, product lines as rows years as columns and the uh, sales as data inside the cross stuff and uh, now we're going to sort both columns and rows and <coughs> we're going to remove this uh, this label. I don't like it. Okay, uh, we're just going to leave it blank. And now uh, we select our data, and we're just going to summarize it as a total. Again, uh, we remember that, uh, we remove the captions. We're going to uh, type instead of the uh, the one we have. It's going to be total only. Okay. <coughs> now we test our report. Uh, well, this is just cross stuff. Uh, nothing special about it. Okay, product lines, years, and the numbers inside. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to copy this this query because we're going to create a chart. Uh, use copy and paste the query, and we're going to change the name. This uh, query is going to be named Spark Lines. Now, uh, we have uh, uh, two fields which we, we, we really don't need, actually three, uh, the, the totals and the year, we don't need them, because we would like to see more details, so we're going uh, to add uh, the year and month, this is a, a field I have, year and month, okay, uh, now we're going to check the data, so you can be uh, more certain of what's happening, so, okay, we have the product lines, Year month and the sales, right? No. Okay, now inside our report page, uh, we're going to create a chart. Uh, this chart is going to be just lines without any dots on it. Uh, just the second one. Okay, we choose it, we click OK, and now uh, we're going to change uh, well, first of all the query. We, we have to point to our Spark Lines query, and uh, we're going to drive a uh, year and month the uh, x-axis and we're going to drag sales as a fact okay uh, now we just have to sort the year and month and we're going to remove some elements we have here uh, and the horizontal and vertical axis uh, we don't we don't want to see them you will see later on why and um, okay we're going to remove the legends as well So now we're going to run a report and see how it looks like uh, with the uh, cross tab and the chart. Okay. The chart, it's okay, it's very flat, that's exactly what we need. Now we go again to our report and the, uh, the size, we need a very, very small uh, graph. We're going to, to create a, a 70. Uh, size uh, chart now we're going to unlock this is very important unlock uh, the items and we're going to drag a table it's going to be only one row and two columns and we're going to drag and drop uh, the line of products inside the table and at the left side we're going to drag our new chart okay now this is very very important 
the master details relationship, somehow we need to relate uh, the cross tag with the spar line. So they have a common field, which is product line. And this is a trick. Now you see the results. Now we have a very good looking uh, report. We have a, a cross tag, the same we had, but now we have spark lines at the left, which actually are showing how we sold every product line. It, it looks really nice. Hope you like it. And uh, y you can switch to PDF and it looks very well actually. Okay, that's it. Thank you.